The Wilson Lock and Dam in Florence allows almost 4,000 vessels to travel the Tennessee River each year, but its main lock chamber is now closed for repairs. Our Caleb Aguayo went out to Florence to find out how this closure is impacting river transit and local business. The Wilson Lock and Dam in Florence sees almost 12 million tons of products coming up and down its lift every year. But one of its main gates is cracked, meaning all that river travel can't make it through the lock. The main gate at Wilson Lock is almost 100 feet tall, making it the highest single lift east of the Rocky Mountains. But it's due for repair after cracks appeared in the lock's main gate. And the Army Corps of Engineers tells me that fix is causing shipping delays all the way up the Tennessee River. The operators, as they were filling and emptying that lock chamber, um, reported some popping and vibration noises from those gates. Um, so after we sent some divers in to inspect, uh, we discovered some cracking that on the lower portions of the gate. So these are really large steel structures. And large they are, holding nearly 27,000 gallons of water in the lock. The lock itself is over 100 feet wide and 600 feet long, just a little smaller than Seattle's Space Needle. Our next step is to actually bring in some assets to where we can uh, set closure structures, pump the water out of the chamber and get engineers and other folks into the into the facility in the dry to inspect and confirm the repair plans that we've been developing since we implemented the closure. The auxiliary lock still works, but its smaller size means boats have to take their barges apart and bring each one of them through the lock individually, a process taking nearly an hour and a half each time it's done. This has caused shipping delays of up to nine days for vessels carrying products down the river. Jeremy Nails with the Morgan County Economic Development Association said, quote, the closure of Wilson Lock due to maintenance issues is definitely causing all shippers on the Tennessee River delays as well as getting products in and out by barge, end quote. And partnering with the Army Corps of Engineers to complete the project, Tennessee Valley Authority Representative Clarissa McLean said, quote, the TVA continues to work in partnership with the USACE to return Wilson Lock to full and safe operations as soon as possible, end quote. Until a more permanent fix is in place, the Corps of Engineers has a repair fleet on site working to get the gate back into operational condition by early next year. In Florence, I'm Caleb Aguayo, Fox 54 News. The Army Corps of Engineers declined to mention a total cost for the project because repairs are still ongoing. The steel gate should be temporarily fixed next year, but more permanent repairs are coming soon after and may have an end date of April 2025.